Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Witcher Wild Hunt with Tears of Gaia. Thank you for tuning in because today we're gonna travel through time and space with Avalach. You want me to read it back or should I tell you what happened last time? Well, I think we're gonna... yeah. Let's recap what we did last time. Last time we helped Yennefer to free Margarita from the prison in Oxenford. Then we talked to Avalach. He told us how to get rid of one of the remaining two generals of Eredin, which is Gals. And Gals was a loyalist to the king that Eredin poisoned to get where he is now. What we have to do is travel to the world of the Ans and L elves. And then I guess we're gonna take him here and show him what's actually happening. And the second uh, general that's left is Kalanthir, which which used to be one of Avalach's um, pupils. That's what Siri told me. I'm not really sure of this, but let's let's focus on Gels now and follow Avalach to the portal. Which is supposed to open up in this house where the godly Sarah was re wrecking havoc. Oh, there it is. Nice. The passage is here, past this wall. Yes? So, should we enter it? This is the place. I can see that. Once we enter, there'll be no returning until we reach Gels. Ready? Yes, let's go. Remember, wherever you land, search for a place that looks like this one. We shall meet sooner or later. Mean we'll be separated? It's possible. I lack your ward's talent. Zirel is the lady of time and space. I merely know how to use this arcane knowledge to a limited degree. It's time. Avalach enters it nonchalantly. Meaning, he's really used to it. Wow, this looks great. Where are we? Welcome to the Diderwet Desert. There's somewhere in our world. Ever seen such canyons in your world? Come, you must go. Beautiful. This is really beautiful. Wow. What is this place? A very old world, thoroughly raped and destroyed. Anything live here? Mainly desert creatures, able to survive months on end without water. Oh, and large sand crabs beneath the surface. We must be careful they don't sense us. I'm and guessing before, they will. Were there any people or elves? Do you believe humanoids have a monopoly on destroying worlds? <laughs> so what did live here? Sentient monsters of some sort? Look at those cliffs. Remind you of anything? Hmm. Look a bit like the bed of a giant river. Or the bottom of a sea. Mean there were water creatures here once? No creatures. Merely a sea. Trying to say that... That there are many different worlds and even more forms of life. Many of them intelligent, much more so in fact than you humans. But as it turns out, not even that could stop them from exhausting all the resources of their world to the last drop. Well, it's really sad to ah, hear that, but... The portal. Looks more like a ruin. Appearances can be deceiving. So what are we waiting for? For it to open. Shouldn't take but a few moments. Enough time to fight some sand crabs. What's going on? The sand crabs have sensed our presence. Wonderful. 
Okay, where are they? Um, sand crabs. Are you insectoids? I don't know if the oils apply here, but I have to apply some sort of oil. So we're gonna go with this one. Ah, keep missing them. Guessing they really are insectoids. They just keep coming. Okay. I managed to enter the portal in time. I don't know about Avalak. Well, no. Avalak. Doesn't seem like he did. Might want to meditate. Oh, I can't. Great. <laughs> well. There it is. Would have been nice of you to give me a warning that I can't meditate anymore. Where am I supposed to go? Here? Another really beautiful world here. Vapors don't look terribly <laughs> inviting. <coughs> Damn it, gotta hold my breath. Any longer and I'd have suffocated. <laughs> okay, catch my breath here. Oh, this is really horrible. Hmm. Guessing not even Golden Oriole will help me here. Should avoid those clouds. Or bolt through them. Okay. <laughs> or fall down a cliff? Didn't think that might happen? Huh? Of course not. <coughs> Should avoid those clouds. Or bolt through them. What are you talking about? Which clouds? <coughs> no, don't fall down again. I said don't! <coughs> well, I'm gonna die again, I think. <coughs> yeah, of course. But he said he should bolt through them. How many times do you want to die? Okay. Now. <coughs> Should avoid those clouds. Or bolt through them. Get up here? <coughs> Come on, get your breath back up. What I could do was... Drink. Swallow. And then bolt through them. But I'm not really sure if I can. <sighs> Let's try it. So that as soon as... <coughs> as soon as my breath is... Whoa! Now seriously? Well, of course. Oh. Yeah, I'm dead. This is not the way it works. Bear with me. I'm trying to figure out how this works. Even though it might take me up to 20 tries. I don't hope it does, though. Medallion's humming. Oh, place of power. Place of power. It's gotta be. Well, that's nice. Why did I... Why did I miss this earlier? Huh. So where do I want to invest this new point? I have refreshment. Poison blades, acquired tolerance, and instead of poison blades, I could go for protective coating now. No? Or pyrotechnics, and then uh, switch it up. Why not? You have ability points to spend, then. Go for it, I guess. 
Okay, so this is the way to go. Is it really? I can see if I bolt through here, I can get up there. Should avoid those clouds or bolt through them. Whoa, he dies really fast. He dies really, really fast here. Okay, gotta make it to the place of power again. Place of power. Should draw from it. Okay. And then, then I'm gonna save here. So you don't have to follow me um, to the place of power anymore. If you say avoid the clouds, then there should be a way of avoiding them. Shouldn't there? <coughs> they can kill you really fast. Look at that. Okay, but I got my health back up. I don't know why. Ah, this looks promising. Okay, let's save here. Bolt through them. Like so. Okay. We did it? Question mark? No, of course not. There's still a long way to go. But I think I got what he was trying to tell me. If you want to go through the clouds, you really have to be immensely fast. This world is so strange. Okay, um, I guess it's not gonna be safe if I go the direct route here. What could be <laughs> safer though... Would be get up here. Yes! Ah, oh, that's, that's beautiful! Ah, <laughs> oh, great! Okay, goodbye! No. Now swim like crazy. To the next portal. I don't really dare to look around even though it could be interesting. Now we have a snow world. This is getting better and better. Cold. You don't like cold? Well, I don't know what to tell you. Gonna melt the ice here. Freeze to death if I don't hide somewhere. And I gotta find that next passage quick. Where can I hide? Oh, there. I can just find cover along the way. I should make it to the passage. Okay, this is really menacing as well. Huh. <laughs> they have wires here. And springs. And you know what? Maybe now's the time to use Swallow. Again. Well, it's not gonna keep me from losing health, though. I really don't know where I have to go. Even though the tower down there seems promising. Yeah, slide, 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 slide as fast as you can and then hide here. Hide, I said. Ugh. 
We're gonna have to zigzag our way through here, saving along the way. Oh. Light in a place like this? Someone must have lit it. With any luck, it was a certain grouchy elven sage. He's grouchy? Up to the rooftops. Wonder how long this blizzard's been blowing. Well, for hundreds of years, I guess. But who has built this house? It's like a Swiss skiing cottage. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. Now that we've looted this place, let's dive into the blizzard again. Oh, no, 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 no. Where's the where's my next cover? A house. Great. Oh, shit. Expected this. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Now the ice is hurting me as well. Well, but I got my swallow going on. We're going strong with the swallow. Oh god! This world is really horrible. Okay. Maybe, wait, there's loot to be had there. It's gotta be frozen. That would be nice if there was frozen cotton and fro frozen thread. Notes? Did I see this right? We just got some notes. Where are they? Hey. Where are the notes? I just picked up like a minute ago. Yennefer's letter. You can't tell me I haven't read it before. Transit pass, contracts. Well? That's what happens if you don't really read what you're picking up. Just pick it up. Thief's journal. Those are all contracts. Anna's notes. Yeah. I know not what we'll do. Our food stocks ran out long ago, save for one sack of onions. For a week we have each eaten a few bites of onion a day and nothing else. Children once detested onions, but now gobble their morsely greedily, greedily and suck on the skins. Soon our bag will be empty. We have no wood or fuel, and the snows keep falling. The mayor has been sending men door to door to hand out modest rations and a bit of wood from the lighthouse storeroom, but no one has come for days. I am not surprised. The snow is piled nearly to the top of our windows. No one could get out do get to our door. I am afraid, so horribly afraid, that we will not outlast this winter. I guess they didn't. Let's save once more. And then enter the next house. That's the only way I can think um, that we'll ever make it. Lunar shards. Interesting. Next house is over there. Even though I know where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, I was hoping for that. Some kind of passage. Oh no. Of course, there's snow everywhere. I can't get down there. Ugh. Back into the cold.
Don't die, Geralt. Don't die. Oh, great. He didn't die. Let's save here. Another house. Ervil's diary. Okay. What did Ervil have to say? The 30th of Burke. This time of year the flowers should be in full bloom, but instead snow covers all. Spring's clearly going to be late. Food will be dear soon, that's certain. The 12th of Blade? It's colder and colder. Snow has been falling non-stop for 37 days now. Folk don't even bother clearing it anymore. There are no more streets, only tunnels dug through the storm. The 21st of Fien. The snow never stops falling. Our larder is bare. At least we can melt snow to slake our thirst. Though I don't know how long our wood will last. For now, we're alive. For now. <clears throat> they all froze to death. Oh, shit. Might not have been the greatest idea, idea coming out here. No, no, no. You can fight me inside, you know. You can fight me inside, but not out here. Or else I'm gonna die for certain. Hmm. Yeah, they don't deem me worthy to attack. Took you a while? Did you run into trouble? Uh, no. Just taking in the sights. <laughs> what is this place? Feels like I've been here before. You have. You fought Eredin's projection here. Before that, Siri fought here. For you. What are you talking about? Ever wondered how you managed to leave the Red Riders? Many times, but I don't remember a thing. Siri came for you. She sensed you were in danger, tore you from the hunt's grasp, then deposited you in the woods near Kaer Morhen. Did Aridan start hunting her because of that? Because of me? Why didn't she say anything? What would it have changed? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it. Like, I would have felt guilty. <laughs> that light on the peak. You put it there. Light on the peak. Was that you? I thought it might aid your passage. After all, that is what lighthouses do: show the way. Where did your journey take you? I was hoping we wouldn't get separated. I warned you it could happen. Where'd your journey take you? Through a world whose son had just died. I barely reached the next passage in time. Going after Gels is proving quite a trek. But I still don't know why he's so important. Eredin differs from the king he killed. Power for its own sake interests him. He has little patience for bureaucracy. He spends most of his time atop his steed, leading the Red Riders. So what does he need in the capital? A good viceroy. Gels is an excellent administrator and an even better plotter. He's the most dangerous individual amongst the NL. He got any weaknesses? Yes. He's righteous. What is this world? Where are we? World of the NL? No. This is Ted Dera, the time of the end. The world destroyed by the White Frost. Alas, this awaits us all, though at differing stages of our existence. So calm when you say that. Eredin succumbed to his knowledge of the apocalypse. Fear rules him now. I'll not commit the same error. Care to clarify? Not here. Not now. Seems like an interesting piece of information while trying to figure out what the Wild Hunt and the Red Riders is all about. Doesn't look safe here either. Let's go. This way. Next passage. When will it open? Shortly. Well, that's how shortly you meant. Okay. Tirnalia. At last. This Tirnalia? The Palace of Awakening. Formerly the Moon Palace. Gel's headquarters.
I'm glad I'm at full health again. <sighs> Beautiful. I'm glad to know you appreciate it. Elven architecture is a bit more sophisticated than yours. You could say that. I believe we're done for the day, my tulip. Be a dear and leave us alone. For I think we can agree this matter is between us and us alone, correct? Crevan Spain, at Coman Maka and the Witcher of Rivia. Ketmil. Do you like my new model? Something of Lara Doran about her, wouldn't you agree, Crevan? Her height, perhaps. Nothing more. <laughs> I see I've touched a tender spot. So let's change the subject, shall we? Care for a drink? Wait a minute. Avalach and Lara Doran? Seriously? Let's have a drink now. Got any vodka? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting you don't touch that filth, disgraceful as it is. Hmm. I must admit, you appearing here. Quite the surprise, Witcher. Incidentally, interesting choice of allies. Do you think Avalach is honest with you? Just curious. No. No, but honesty is not a facet of your species, so quit spewing bile won't gain you anything. I detect a shadow of impatience in your faces, it seems. So what brings you here? I've come to tell you who killed our king. You've gone through a great deal of trouble to reach me. So I must believe you've put equal effort into preparing this lie. You shall see the truth. You will dream it. You've been a neuromancer. Hmm. My intuition was correct. This will be interesting. Kareen Tully? Are you talking about her? When he when he asked you for an Oniromancer, she's the only Oniromancer I know. Okay, uh, talked enough. Tired of your pseudo sophisticated courtesy. Let's go. Where to, if I might ask? To the world of the Enche. Directly this time. Let's go before any guards show up. Oh. <laughs> Totally resembles the girl. <laughs> well, that's not at all what I anticipated Elvenar to look like. But we all can appreciate some abstract art, I guess. Yeah, Corrine is waiting. And Siri. I take it I needn't introduce our guest. Greetings, Cyril. So it's true. The swallow has befriended the fox. There's naught you can do to make us turn on one another. Havalach blackmailed you. Do you not remember? Tried to force you to warm our king's bed. Treated your body like a side of pork. I remember. But I also remember what you advise Eredin do with me once I was caught. And I remember what the Red Riders did at Kaer Morhen. I didn't come here to argue. The proof you promised. Where is it? You will see it. In your dream. Ah, yes. The Oneromancer. Visions that cannot be fabricated. Do you wish to show me how Eredin murdered our king? What then? Am I to incite the NL against Eredin? Call for revolution? and proclaim Avalach our new king. You'll do what you want. You'll do what you want. If you decide to continue serving the regicide, so be it. Wouldn't even be surprised. Very well. 
Have your oracle summon dreams of my king's last moments. We shall all dream them, to make certain there are no misunderstandings. Why not? You must face him on your terms, in this world, in a place of your choosing. It's your only chance. Sail to Skellige and find the Sunstone. With it, you will summon the Nargofair. Eredin will come too. Should he call for reinforcements, no NL will answer. You have done the thing most just. A new portal to Tin Aliar will open. I shall stabilize it and you will return. Come with me. Just as well. Could have been bluffing. Might have just said that so we'd let him go. Damn it. We should have pressed him. Calm down. Avalark knows him better. We'll hear him out when he returns. Speak of the devil. Geralt's worried. He believes we let Gales go too easily. Can never be too careful. Agreed. Yet I do believe Gales will keep his word. Withhold support from Eredin. Seems to me you have a plan. Care to share it with us? Once we find the Sunstone, aided by your sorceresses and their magic, we shall draw Eredin's ship to a bay along the coast of Undvik. We will wait in ambush, lay a trap. When the King of the Hunt arrives, we will spring it and kill him. Just like that? Defeating Eredin will be no small feat, but we will accomplish it. Find the sorceresses at the lodge, and we'll meet at the port. Then we sail to Skellige. Good now. You're curious about this little matter you have to resolve. When I was last in Novigrad, I had my share of troubles. So I heard. A few people helped me then. Others, not so much. Now I mean to repay them both. Coming with? Yeah, of course. Lead the way. We need to go to Temple Isle. Don't remember you being religious? Nor am I now. Let's go. Almost there. Where are we going exactly? To see Horson Jr. Mm, do you know he's dead? Bit late for that. He's dead. I asked Sultan, and he said Horson's alive and well on Temple Isle. I was there, stuck a sword in his gut. Your hand must have slipped, because it seems he's recovered. I'm not gonna argue with you. Why are you doing this again? I want to look him in the eyes. What then? I don't know. Depends what I see. I guess she's gonna kill him. I'm not sure if it really is Horson Jr. though. I have my own suspicions. Yeah. 
what? Here to see Mr. Wiley. Mr. Wiley's expecting important guests, so bugger off, you... you... Chance! Here I thought we could do this the nice way. Out of the way, you lout! Or we'll cut up your mug so the girls at Cripple Kate's won't even have you. What do you say? Didn't understand? Too many syllables? Fuck off! Oh, you little bitch! Don't touch her. Don't touch her. I'm gonna make you pay for that. What now? You say Geralt? Geralt who? A fucking Rivia. <laughs> well, why did you say that from the get-go? Sorry to hassle you, misunderstanding that. Mr. Wiley's expecting you. <clears throat> okay. That was strange. Yeah, to really. Say the least. I wonder what they're doing. We'll know soon enough. But it explains why there are still so many of of Horson's thugs in the streets attacking me. Or why some are attacking me and some aren't, I guess. I'm really wondering my suspicion. It's gonna turn out real. Well, well. Who do we have here? Finally found your little ward. Took your sweet fucking time. Seems in fine health to me. Ah, because you thought you killed me that time. Surprise the fucking prize. Shut your trap, witch! Before somebody fills that owl for you. Enough! I'll finish what you started. Whoa, whoa, stop, it's me, Dudu, Dudu Bieberfell. You really didn't recognize me. Dudu? Wait, Siri. After the heist, after Dijkstra's vault was emptied, you vanished. How'd I find you? Quick. Butcher's Yard, the Mama's Play, Priscilla's. You dragged me onto the stage. Sheathe your sword, Siri. It's doo doo. God! You give me quite the scare. Not wise to play games with a Witcher. Horson Jr. Was there no one else you could impersonate? Once we'd fled, I'd no idea what to do. I could only hide for so long. They'd find me sooner or later. It wasn't our decision. We knew he was dead, but not many others had caught on. That was my chance. No one mourned for Horson Jr. In all his miserable life, he'd never helped a soul. Amusingly, once dead, he became a useful member of society. They say everyone deserves a second chance. Seems true enough. Horson got his. In a way. Sharing it with a doubler named Doodoo. -Doo. Nice. That was courageous, Doodoo. -Doo. I'd never expect it from you. Neither would I. Oh, by the way, you've no idea at the relief I feel you're alive and well. And I'm relieved I didn't slit your throat. Not afraid of being found out? Be careful, you could get found out. Wiley's men are too stupid to catch on. His colleagues ain't much better. Mind you, even you were fooled. And that might have ended very badly for you. True. I get a bit carried away at times. But mostly I'm careful. Shows an interesting line of business. Dude has always had a head for numbers. What's a few brothels and casinos? He'll manage. That's the thing. I don't need to. Two weeks after Wiley died, I announced I'd seen the light of the Eternal Fire. Sold all the illegal enterprises. I'm a blue water trader now. Horson's men didn't protest? I've contacts in the guilds. Run a thriving trade. Profits are twice what they were before. To Wiley's men, a purse twice as heavy means twice as much respect for the men handing it to them. Time's up. Right. We must still go by the Golden Sturgeon. It was nice to see you both. And take care of yourselves. You too. So long, Dudu. I was already starting to wonder what happened to Dudu. Why are we going to the Sturgeon? 
To see a girl who helped me once. Who might that be? A friend of Dandelion's. Her name's B. She's a waitress at the Golden Sturgeon. Help me contact Dandelion. B. I wish to thank her. She risked a lot. Risked a lot? How's that? The Temple Guard were breathing down my neck. If she'd been seen with me, she might have been flogged or worse. Always getting into trouble. I take after you. Yeah. <laughs> so here's why I think, uh, why I had my suspicions, because some of Morrison's men attacked me and some didn't. Some didn't even notice me. So my explanation for that might be that the ones that attacked I me were the ones... I visited a city once that was very much like Novigrad, but the people there were much taller and had dark skin. This somewhere in Zeracania? No, in another world. Hmm. What's it like, hopping between worlds? Anything like passing through a portal? Or different? Hmm, a bit different. It was hard going at first. I wasn't very good at controlling it. So, I had to concentrate intensely. And hope I didn't land in the crater of an active volcano. The training I did with Avalark was very helpful. Now, I merely think of the place I wish to travel to, close my eyes, and it's done. Well, that's nice to hear. Anyhow, <laughs> um, the ones that attacked me were the ones that still remembered me killing Horson. Or thought that I killed him, tried to kill him. And the ones that didn't attack me were the ones that um, Duda was leading now. Or whatever. I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but it's a possible explanation. And serious talk about other worlds might be foreshadowing, so keep that in mind. Give you a chance. Should have taken it. I spit on anything you give me. You'll regret that, you cow. Mind your manners, you're talking to a lady. Stay out of this. This is not your concern. Draw your weapons. Let's get this over with. Whoa! What? You're out to hurt her. I won't let you. So we'll argue and swagger and have who knows how long a pissing contest. I don't have time for that. Draw your swords. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I seem more determined this time. You shouldn't cross them, I told you. I'm to bar non-humans from this establishment because some thugs threaten me. Not likely. It's so good to see you, B. And you, Siri. Who's your charming companion? I'm called the Whirling Sword. A defender of the downtrodden. Hmm. Just so happens that I was just trodden upon head to toe. Perhaps you'd be kind enough to help me recover. Be you strumpet. Control yourself. This is Geralt. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you say so to start with? <laughs> Very nice to meet you. I've heard so much. What have you heard? Yeah, now I'm, now I'm getting interested. Really? What, for example? For example, how you've saved her from woes so many times she's lost count. And how you always know how to make her laugh. That Siri, of course. Other ladies, however. B, I'm standing right here. <laughs> all right, all right. So, what brings you here, darlings? I wanted to thank you for everything. Oh, stop. Anyone would have done the same in my shoes. Not many would have done it with such courage. Thank you. This is for you. A trinket to remember me by. Oh my, it's beautiful. Thank you. So, will you stay for stew? And keep slaughtered a piglet this morning. Thanks, but we must still visit Far Corners. Ah, off to see Valdo, eh? Well, shan't stop you then. They'll feed you properly there too, no doubt. Farewell to you both, and do take care of our witcher. I will. So long. You don't have to tell me to. I, I took care of her most of my life. So, your friend B, 
What about her? Nothing. Seems nice. Geralt, you're terrible. What I say? <laughs> What's there to see in far corners? The camp of some traveling circus performers. Non-humans. When I came here before, I wanted to contact Triss. Life was hard. I quickly spent nearly everything the Baron gave me. Triss and I never met, because the Temple Guard showed up. I was a wanted woman afterwards. Triss didn't try to contact you? How could she? She didn't know anything. In fact, she thought she was to meet another alchemist wanting to flee Novigrad. I preferred not to put her in danger. I was being hunted. Had not a copy to my name. Then I met Valda. He and his troop helped me. Then introduced me to B. And through B, I found Dandelion. You know the rest. I love this quest. It really gets me... We can wrap up her story, basically. Get to know all the rest. Where's this friend of yours? There! Valdo! A bit me a pass. Siri, you devil incarnate, where have you been? Come here, darling. Hello? What's this? Brought your granddad? Agar, hey, you're incorrigible. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia. Ah, greetings. We've heard heaps about you. Likewise, and thanks for helping Siri. Oh, we had no choice. Found it hard to refuse a lass like her. Well, good you're oh. here. Come in the nick of time. Would have been gone by tomorrow. You're leaving? Let us start resettling non-humans shortly. We'd rather stay ahead of events. I understand. Problem is, we just lost two horses, and another two are too weak to haul anything. Ah, we'll manage somehow. We don't leave till tomorrow, so naught to worry about today. Yes, for some. I'm off to see a merchant. There's a chance I can trade our nags for a healthy horse. Wouldn't want Valdo to have anything to worry about tomorrow. What's eating him? Oh, don't worry. That's just how Agar is. Be back to his jolly old self by evening. What brings you here? I've come to apologize. I disappeared so suddenly, then... Ah, pish posh. What matters is you're back, and you're well. This is for you. All that you loan me, plus a small premium. Siri, you know I can't take this. And you know I shan't let you refuse. Hmm. I know. We'll make it the pot for a wager. <laughs> Do you still race? Of course. Then I challenge you. Geralt, will you join us? Yeah, why not? Gladly. A man after my own spirit. <laughs> Come. So now I can win series gold. That Geralt, would be great. Choose one of these. Coming, coming. So it seems like I'm on Roach here. Hey! Just starting like that? Giving you a head start. Ugh. Yeah, horse racing. It's nice. <laughs> Pretty easy too. Roche's stamina is so freaking huge. Hey, what's happening to the birds over there? <laughs> I think it was the course Vodka, of the paleo. You're trailing. Watch where you're going or you'll fall. Can still beat you. I let you win. Lovely race! Well, this calls for a celebration. Stay the evening. We have several barrels of Kedwin's best. Bonfires to be lit soon, round which all will gather. This night shall be ours. Awesome. Finally, some celebration. Oh, I wish you could do that. More wine. Thanks. I'm glad we stayed. Me too. They like you here. 
I like them too. Oh, I'd love to join them. Drink and race, travel from town to town, not worry a whit about anything. Good plan. I think I'll go with you. Then our future's settled. <laughs> if that is, there's more than ash left of us once this is over. Defeating the hunt won't be easy, but with the Lodge's support, Avalax, we can do this. I fear fighting the hunt will only be the beginning. For me, at least. What do you mean? <laughs> you promised! <laughs> In jest? Sometimes I wish I could be like them. Me too. Being a witch is a burden sometimes. As is my inheritance. I'd so like to be ordinary. You were born to great things. Problem is, you're not. You were born to greatness. As I've been hearing since I was born. All because of this damned elder blood. My gift. My curse. to meet all of these powers, but it's also why I've spent my life fleeing, hiding. Then it's time to end this. Once we defeat Eredin, you'll be free. Really? Eredin's hardly alone. There are others. They have plans for me. It was the sorceresses of the Lodge once. Now it's my father. Even Yennefer. You're forgetting Avalach. Avalach's different. He is intent on my gift not falling into the wrong hands, not spinning out of control. It's why he teaches me, protects me. I'm not sure. I hope you're right. If you say so. You doubt it? There'll come a day when Avalok will ask you for a favor. Perhaps. But if so, it will be a very, very long time from now. And I'm certain whatever it is, he'll give me a choice. I will have the option to refuse. Hope you're right. That's Pablo. I plan to learn how to juggle one day. Incredibly useful skill. Finally found you two. Enjoying yourselves. Bonfires, wine, jugglers. What more could you ask for? I could name a few things I'd trade it for, but it's a life. You seem concerned. Things not go well with the merchant. <laughs> Lost cause. The man refused to trade. I said I'd buy. He asked three arms and a host of legs for one healthy animal. We need horses. But we'll have to find another way to get them. Ho, ho, I sense trouble. Hmm. I knew you'd warm to the notion. We mean to sneak into the man's stable. With 30 head, a few more or less won't make a difference in his life. Coming with? Of course. Let's steal some horses together, yeah. Uh, what can I do? Gotta help those in need. Yes, yes, yes! Must say, you didn't seem the type to me. What type? Steady. Time to go. We'll meet by the stables. The type to steal horses with! <laughs> That's the type of Geralt I am. Look out. Siri and I'll try to get inside. All right. <coughs> Wait here. I'll go inside. Open the door for you. Just keep the noise down. How do I get I inside the boss? Yeah. Yeah, thirst could just extinguish all the candles here. Or else they're gonna see me. Siri? Locked. It's locked. Gotta find another way in. Yeah, that's what he just said. I know. <gasps> Don't fall down. Well, he just did. Ah, it's my own fault. That good. Yeah, you know me. We arrived here together. You know that I'm a vet girl.
Hello, guard. Damn, you're ugly. Oh, there's the key. Oh, come on. I hate fist fights. Gotta hate them. Come on. Come at me, stupid Novik Radiant Guard. Die, mutant! Oh, I can set him on fire. Well, that's great. Shit. Oh, shit. Of course. <laughs> I was focusing so much on what signs to use and what I could do with him. Use Axie, you know, and then R to blow him away. <laughs> he just hit me like a madman. Urgh. I wish I could could have just stabbed him. Agar, keep a lookout. Siri and I'll try to get inside. All right. I already know how to get inside the now. All I have to boss. do is not wake up the guard anymore, if that is at all possible. Guard didn't even wake up. <laughs> that one horse is tagged along. Didn't even need a rider. Excellent work. Did you see the two fools who tried to chase us? Almost tripped over their own boots. <laughs> Thanks, Geralt. That was splendid. Yeah, a nice change from killing monsters. Thanks for your help, and for visiting. It was so good to see you all again. Hang in there, and take care of yourselves. Don't forget us. So long. I must bid Valdo farewell. All right. See you at Dandelions, then. Got some things to take care of in town. See you, Geralt. So, what is Geralt talking about? What do we still have to take care of in town? Meet Yennefer and the Lodge of Sorceresses at Dandelions. That's what we have to take care of in town. Then there are still some treasure hunts going on that we will have to finish. But like I told you, <sighs> we do it when we switch our build the next time. And now that I'm level 32, I think that I can wear the Mastercrafted gear. So. What I'll opt for first is get the Mastercrafted Cat School gear. Wait a minute. Mastercrafted Feline level 34. Okay, no, I guess then. So I'm gonna play with my cat Geralt some more until I can have the Mastercraft version of all the gear. Because right now I truly, I have to, I have to tell you, I love my cat Geralt. It's really awesome to play with him. You really go, go in deep, and um, whirling at enemies, and it's just really, really nice. And yeah, basically, I wish to continue now, but I will have to take a break and meet you guys next time. Um, if you tuned in for the first time, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss my content. If you already are a subscriber, then give me a like or a comment. I appreciate every feedback I get, honestly. Don't hold back. <laughs> and I hope to see you next time.